Ukraine is preparing surprises for the Russians with landing forces on the Dnieper River. Ukraine is preparing a landing force to cross the Dnieper writes Build Edition of Germany, citing a source. The interlocutor confirmed to the publication that in recent days, special forces of the armed forces of Ukraine have already landed on the left bank of the Dnieper in several places. As Build found out, when crossing the Dnieper, the armed forces of Ukraine intend to use small operational special forces on canoes. Since January, Ukraine has been buying special equipment for this and attracting experts. One of the coaches is a German citizen. He said that he had trained about 40 Ukrainian soldiers. Bild has received photos from a training camp where special forces of the armed forces of Ukraine are taught to row in canoes and land in full combat gear. It is canoes that are best suited for stealth approach to enemy positions on the opposite bank. They are silent and small in size. It is difficult to see them at night. A special coating is applied to the board. On April the 23rd, the Institute for the Study of War, referring to open data, announced the landing of the armed forces of Ukraine on the left bank of the Kherson region. It was reported that the Ukrainian military took up positions on the banks of the Dnieper River north of Oleshki and were able to advance to the northern edge of the settlement on the E-97 highway. The South Department of the Ukrainian Army refused to comment on the information, but the representative of the South, Natalia Gumenyuk, said that because of the stuffing, the occupiers intensified shelling of the Kherson region. Inspired by such information, the enemy used a very powerful air attack, pulled up artillery and tried to prove with all its might that he was still holding positions. These are the consequences of information stuffing in a hybrid war. Therefore, you need to take a very balanced approach to information, she said. But neither the Ukrainian military nor the experts hide the fact that the goal of the Ukrainian counter-offensive will be, among other things, the liberation of Crimea, which in particular is associated with the increased claps at the enemy's military facilities on the peninsula. Recently, Kurt Volker, former special representative of the US State Department for Ukraine, said that he could not start the deoccupation of Crimea right now. The likelihood of Russia using nuclear weapons in response to Ukraine's actions to return Crimea is very low.